Hi, let's start a new chapter. Okay, as you can see on the board here, is society dead? This is a question. Okay, this is a question. Whether we are dead or alive, especially about the new generation trends. And already you know that in the last unit of Plus One English, we are discussing about cyberspace something related with internet technology so that's why i hope you got the idea why there is such a question and probably this would be the last chapter which we are discussing officially and i hope we will have revisions also okay anyway let's start the chapter is society dead by andrew sullivan as we do every time what are the main objectives when you study this chapter look read and analyze articles on technology related issues so that's a real important matter like uh, nowadays the most prominent thing in our society is technology and something advanced also even though this essay was written in 2005 2005 means now it's almost 15 years back even though they are writing this 15 years back still this is relevant that's why we are not removing this text from our textbook okay so this is relevant first one is you know we have to understand technology related essays uh, essays and texts related with technology and we should analyze that we must be able to analyze that that's the first thing let's look at the second one be aware aware of the issues related to technology and to distinguish between the positive and negative sides so we must be able to undress that technology is not at all bad and it's good in many time but it's like a knife whenever it's with a baby we are not sure what he or she does but whenever it is with a mature person we we can make it sure 99 percentage that he would use it positive to cut the vegetables something else but there are one percentage there is one percentage always we we cannot predict such people such cruel people they do what they do even some mothers and fathers are there that they are slaughtering the child it's quite pathetic anyway we are not discussing all that today anyway it's like technology is like that whenever it is with a mature person it's positive and whenever you use it like that so it's it changes according to person okay so that is also the main objective sides of technology especially cyberspace how we can use cyberspace like our instagram pages our facebook pages something how we can use that also before going to the chapter let me have an introduction about the author andrew michael sullivan andrew michael sullivan is a he's a british author and he is a well, very good commentator, editor and a blogger in United States. Okay. An influential commentator and a seasoned lecture. Season means well-known lecture. His writing is known for its imaginary. Okay. And he uses many images that this. You will understand when you read the essay E Society that it's excellent journalistic and uh, insight journalistic insight and heavy use of imagery so andrew sullivan's essay is special in what he uses what heavy usage of imagery okay this article is on ipod generation i hope you got the word now ipod generation appeared in the times online the times online is a newspaper okay on february 20 2005 i told you this essay was written in 2005 but still relevant let's have a look on to the essay okay before we go to the essay i have a small introduction about the essay look there is a world outside that is worse and vibrant other than your phones this is important now especially in this online educational age many of you are spending loads of time with your phone even though now also you're using phone to watch my class and i use my phone to shoot this class to record this class same time we can use this whenever it is needed always understand whenever we are the slaves of this kinds of gadget 
we forget a world outside and never do that that's why here is a warning there is a world vast and vibrant rather than your phone and look being socially active on the cyberspace the whole time makes you socially inactive from the real world see whenever we are active in the cyberspace we are inactive in the real world so understand the difference between real and uh, cyber we are living in our real life that's why you should differentiate between this two and find okay so that's what is my advice before we start the essay so let's start the essay so let's read the essay andrew sullivan the essayist when he was walking somewhere and he would like to quote some examples or some incidents from his life look at this read carefully is society dead i was visiting new york last week and noticed that something i had never thought i would about i would say about the city so when he was walking through the city he noticed something which he had no any plan to share with us but now he said that yes nightlife is pretty much dead nightlife was pretty much the 2005 okay i am in no way the first to notice that everybody has noticed the same thing that night nightlife was pretty much good it was dead not alive okay but day life that insane mishmash mismatch insane means like a mentally ill or we feel it well we are uh, we cannot absorb that that feeling what is going in the situation we cannot understand that something we are like unconscious or we are simply sitting without any uh, any need okay so uh, we are simply sitting without knowing anything without any need of the what is happening in the current situation like mentally ill people so that insane mismatch of yells mismatch means confused mixtures of sound in the day life of you know new york in the day life of new york there is yells sound which is mismatch confused and that's like an insane we cannot understand that it's like a mad thing and chatter again the people chatting it's like mismatch confused mixtures of sound and hustle and hubza means hustle also sound small noise hubza also sound which people make was a little different so you can have the words yells chatter hustle and hoopsa it's called hoopsa not chupsa okay hoopsa every hoopsa hoopsa okay hoopsa everything was a little different in the day life it was quieter means yeah uh, days ago there were sounds but nowadays even though there are mismatch of there were mismatch of yells chatter hoopsa and hustle everything was there but nowadays it's much quieter means much calm and manhattan is the one place there uh, in usa manhattan's downtown is now disney like string of malls there are many malls now in manhattan rewards riverside parks and pretty upper middle class villages so now he would like to give us a picture about manhattan town okay and your plus two you will also study about the manhattan in uh, in a chapter amigo brothers you will get the same thing there is a river also manhattan so it was there was middle class villages but there was something else in between all this all thing was quiet here nothing special was there everything stopped no sound nothing else it, everything was calm but something i noted very important that i would like to share with you that's andrew sullivan's word and as i look across the throngs of the payments throngs means the payments or the like a jungle of buildings throngs one by one one by one okay small pathways okay small pathways and small homes nearby nearby such throngs of payments i began to see why when i look at that i began to understand why there was no why there was dead night life and quieter day life that was my understanding i got the idea that was it so let's have some questions what aspect of new york did the author notice one thing the day life in new york is powerfully presented in this line suppose you describe the same in your own city what points will you note okay 
there were little so i noticed one thing that was uh, uh, when i uh, when i looked i began to understand why all this was happening okay i there were little white wires hanging down from their ears from the new generation there were little white wire wire that was hanging from their ears look earphone or now it, nowadays it's ear pod ears or tucked into pockets i mean something it, it's hanging or tucked into pockets purses jackets the eyes were little vacant people's eyes it was little vacant they are not noticing anything they are listening to something and enjoying their own world of music or something else like you can see some of the people they come from west bengal or some other some asm or bihar when they come to kerala and do their work they will have something some white wires in their ears and they will be listening to something and they don't know anything what they are doing like that we could see some people of new generation 2005 that's why i told you even this was written 2005 it's still relevant okay look uh, the eyes were a little whack and each was in or his own musical world walking their soundtrack like whenever we listen to music we always think like dance like now in, when you listen to instagram reels even you people like uh, feel to dance sometimes uh, i could see many students uh, many people doing different types of dance even though for for the uh, new generation songs and steps like kim 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 also now it's very famous i think uh, maybe whenever you listen to the, my class there will be another song or another music which give you a charming inspiration to dance and that's an instinct of man whenever we get a chance like for different camps of even stuff they also people play the music and people dance it's an instinct from human being right anyway now with this what we can see that whenever they are listening to the music also they are just having the earphone and that thing like dance and giving the rhythm for their sounds also okay start they are star in their own music video almost oblivious to the world around them oblivious means they are not aware of the world around them they are alive in their own world these are the ipod people so who are ipod people they are oblivious look at the word oblivious i heard once um, shashi tarur giving an interview shashi tarur you know that great personality Oh, he's a great one. You can follow his ways of studying English, speaking English. Great. Anyway, he wants to oblivious to caste means a person is not aware of caste system. Uh, like that, oblivious, oblivious to the punishment. A teacher, he's totally oblivious to punishment means he has no any idea what giving punishment like. Okay, so they are oblivious to the world around them, but they are living in their own world like Instagram reels or such sounds. Such people are known as iPod people. Okay, even without the white wires, you can tell who they are means even if you are not using white wares you can tell who they are they walk down the street in their own mp3 cocoon like we know cocoon that like mp3 cocoon they have something with them bumping into others they are just bumping into others I mean they are not even minding them deaf to deaf to small social cues they are deaf means they are not listening to small social sound shutting out anyone not in their bubble people means in their own track people they are in their own track they are not in their own track they will bubble means they're screening out all of them they are not even minding them i hope you got some words over here have you noticed ipod people in your town too is there any difference between the ipod generation in new york and those your own town you have to answer those questions what according to the order are the marks to identify the ipod generation i hope you got that idea also look there are some words which you which i i told you in the two two slides ago mismatch confusion mismatch. throwing a large destiny park and crowd people of animals see throwing means like a jungle i told busiest place so the disney like packed uh, a densely packed crowd many people were there standing together bump knock run into someone or something with a jolt so they were bumping into the people you see here okay they were bumping means uh, they knock or run into someone with a jolt means with fast 
and shut out screen someone with they are not in their bubble in their own track they are screening such people so i hope this paragraph and this part is clear for you Let, let's move to the next part before that understand what are the uh, signs of i ipod people ipod generation i hope you got all those things okay so let's move on to the next part yes every now and again some start unconsciously emitting strange tuneless quacks like when you listen to the ipod generation whenever they have earphones in your ears fastly suddenly we see some of them emitting means coming out with strange tuneless quacks they make some some quacks mean sound of birds they make some sounds like badly tuned radio I hope someone of you have visited the, a TikTok video or Instagram reel. I don't remember, like a song. I saw a koi Th There was such a song, like uh, 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 it was like acting a, a student or someone listening to the music, and when they say that word I saw, they take uh, the off the video and it, they make big sound. Then everyone fears, and it, it was like a simple joke. But I just would like to tell you, whenever we listen to a music, we think that whenever we sing with them, we think we are singing very well like that Eshudas or Shreya Goshel. But once the audio is cut and when we listen to our own voice, we fear, oh, we are just making a badly tuned radio's sound. Okay. And their fingers snap on their arms, uh, twitch to some strange soundless rhythm. They will be making like... Mm -hmm. You can see such people, okay. Uh, when others say, when they come, excuse me, when, so, when we listen to the music and someone come and ask, excuse, excuse me, we don't listen even, we don't hear even. So that is strange to be among so many people and hear so little. It's strange to be among so many people and we listen to a little only, except that each one is hearing so much. Same time we are listening so much, we are hearing so much but we are not hearing anyone around us. That's really a strange thing. Okay, and yes, I might as well as own up. Means I might have confessed, like I should also put myself that I am also part of this new generation. I am one of them. I witnessed the glazed New York looks through my own glazed pupils, my white wires peeping out of my ears. So I visited all the people looking at me also when I walk, why when I have the earphone with me, I look, I am also part of this cult. I joined the cult, means a special group of religion with a special culture. So that is known as cult. Uh, so here uh, Andrew Sullivan would like to compare this uh, way of life to a special cult or to special custom of religion or a special worship of religion like I also entered this cult a few years ago the sect of the little white box worshippers I become the, that section that group others began as I did with a walkman many other people 2005 it's talking 2005 some days ago they started with a walkman it's a small radio type we will have a cassette or mp3 players or radio only then a kind of clangy then a kind of clankier mp3 player after Wackman, the second generation was a clangier means heavy a heavy mp3 player that was but the sleekness means softness or smoothness it was smooth so when they were using Walkman and clankier MP, it was heavier. But the sleekness of this iPod or this iPod won me over. It means I became the slave or I became the part of the car in the group of this cult of uh, carrying or carrying what? Uh, iPod. That sleekness means smoothness. So it was clankier means heavier. It was also Walkman which would come with us. but. A, we must have a bag or something else but nowadays we don't even need uh, e box to carry our earphones we have uh, ear ports with us it's very simple unlike other models it gave me my entire music collections to rearrange as I saw fit on fly so all other was not fit on fly means I can ca take this wherever I go and uh, it's according to my own intention it comes it, according to my own interest I can rearrange all my music in my pocket what was once an occasional musical once uh, all the when I have Walkman or Clinky or MP3 I listen to the music very less and that was private also but nowadays it become an obsessive compulsive compulsive obsessive disorder like 
diversion became a compulsive obsession means we are doing again and again okay really compulsive obsessive compulsive disorder is something there it like what we call a person he is having a kind of uh, mental disorder that as he does many like he washed the hands he washing the hands for many times he is not sure whether he washed it or not anyway this is here means he is listening to the music again and again okay i have told this squack sound of squacks twitching into some of the uh, soundless rhythm clankier means heavier sleek smoothness compulsive obsession just read and understand the meaning of all these words i'm not going to explain it already told okay moving to the part and like all addictive cults so i became the cult in this cult or i became part of this cult also so this cult also as all addictive cult it's spreading spreading from people to people walk through any airport in the united states these days and you will see person after person gliding through the social ether as if on autopilot so they are all social ether means as so either means a plain place or sky some a fresh area in the air neither also a scientific meaning such a such a solid which we use to uh, it's a highly inflammable which we use to fire something else okay so here social either means an a space in the air so they are in such a social either as if on auto, they are like autopilot they are also coming down from the uh, airports get on subway and you are surrounded by a bunch of uh, step forward commuters in step forward commuters means people who, commuters means people who are migrating from one place to uh, place to other travelers so now here Andrew Sullivan would like to compare or give the image of the people they are using earphones and they are enjoying their own world and not coming out like an autopilot so for an autopilot they can see many people even he's sitting and he's going on his own way even without knowing anything no gear no clutch like okay it's automated no, automatized what uh, a, a pilot staring so many people will be there they will be staring into him but he doesn't have any idea about them uh, mid space as if uh, uh, anesthetized by technology so this person will be like anesthetized by technology people will be coming around them he does not know anything don't ask don't tell don't overhear don't observe just tune in and tune out that's what you can see in the ipod generation we cannot ask them anything we cannot say them anything it wouldn't be so worrying if it were in part of something even bigger even though we are talking about music and all other things but here you know it wouldn't be worrying if it would not be it is part of something bigger also we are not getting not only the music or something through ipod generation or ipod or from through our earphone some people will be there listening to many different classes also like you get your news from your favorite blogs the ones that won't challenge your view on the world means we, everybody has different view on the world so like we can we understand now in facebook or instagram when we search something on youtube when we search something the same thing comes again or same thing or something related with that so they always give us what is interesting to us okay so that would not change the view of our own to the world you you tune into a satellite radio service that also aims directly at a small market for new age fanatics liberal talks or modern rock television is all cable so we can go through the uh, radios also which give us the trend of new generation rocks and fanatics everything and tv is always about cables and when we tune to channels they only give us what they are interested in the channels but here you look at what you know in when we access to different channels through our youtube we get the news which we uh, which we are interested in even though we go for life we we have to listen to the live thing which they are broadcasting okay uh, television is all cable your cell phones can receive email feeds on your favorite bloggers latest thoughts second after he has posted them now whenever you subscribe and give the bell icon for the for the youtube channel so you will get what the notification right okay or get sports scores for your team so when uh, when i'm a great fan of cricket when i when there is a match between england and india or always what i feel you know uh, we will get scores uh, after one by one live scores we will get 
or get sports scores for your team. Technology has given us a universe entirely for ourselves. It, be, it gave us a universe that's entirely for ourselves. Okay, and you know, technology has a given a universe, the serendipity of meeting a new stranger. Maybe there will be a stranger. Serendipity means a happiness which we, when we meet a stranger, and hearing a piece of music we would never choose for ourselves. Maybe we, uh, we will be the happiness to listen to a music which we did not know even but it came after our searching as a suggestion to us it came again though then we can listen to that music also and for ourselves or an uh, opinion that might force us to change our mind about something all are effectively banished so all these things you know here if there is an opinion which forces us to change our opinion that's also banished so many uh, positive sides are there for our cell phone okay these are some questions let's skip it i'm not going to ask it okay here addictive cult autopilot commuter serendipity okay serendipity i hope you understood the meaning of all this just listen read maybe just give a pause to the video and, and just write it down the meaning okay here you know automization by little white boxes and cell phones society without the social society without the social underline this word society without the social we are living in a society but we are not social we are always personal others who are chosen not met at random human beings have never lived like this before they never lived like this before yes we have always had homes retreats or places we went to relax in uh, days ago we had some places we go for relax and some musics everything we went but we didn't walk around the world like hermit crabs see we didn't walk around the world like hermit crabs i know crab you already know that a small insect i mean that's that live in river and uh, see hermit like they are in a pack with our isolation surgically attached see that's a real good usage like uh, he's uh, comparing the people who listen to the music with earphone or something else there to the crabs that is really our isolation we are surgically attached to us surgically attached that's really good usage i feel music was once the preserve of the living room or the concert hall like in a in a hall where we have uh, prayer then uh, in such halls or in our private room we had music it was something solitary but it was prim uh, primarily a shared experience sometimes that brought people together when there was music like any program outside it, it came people together people together came for that made people unite but nowadays it separate but music is an auto automized as living is and a secret and it's secret nowadays it's become a secret that block next to you could be listening to you heavy listening to heavy metal or a gregorian chant maybe a person or another block he must be listening to something other but we don't know that we are sitting together i listen to something and he listen to something other it is quite different from the olden days you will never know and so bit by bit you will never really know him also now you know your neighbor you don't know what he listened to but bit by bit day by day you don't know him after many days that's a worry you will never really know him and uh, by his white wires he is indicating he doesn't really want to know you also that's another another worry another interesting he does not want to know you also the author has described the experience of music in the past and present uh, to drive home his point compare the experience of music in the past with experience of music in the present let's do that okay moving to the next part let's have this now what do we get from this the chance to slip away for a while from everydayness to give your lives its own soundtracks to still the monotony of commute to listen more closely and carefully to music that can lift you up and keep you going we become masters of our own interests. that's the problem all this positive we got we become the masters of our own interest that's the word of andrew sullivan okay 
we become the masters of our own interest more connected to people like us over the internet more instantly into touch with anything we want need or think we want to think or we need so we are connected to many people we never thought they will become because i have many friends outside india for example okay and you have many friends like that's a, a thing we are also uh, experiencing in this new world okay the positive sides like and always the negative sides are also there even though we can meet many people but we are forgetting the people around us and we are connected to many people outside that's the worry so moving to the next part so now we check it what we get from all this same time but what are we missing uh, that hilarious shot of an overhead conversation when we people go that we get some information which we overhear uh, that uh, stays with you all day. The child whose chatter on the pavement takes you back to your earlier memories. Whenever you walk through the pavements and listen to the music of a uh, sound of a small guy or small baby, you listen, you remember about your childhood, you remember about your childhood. All those you're missing, that bird song, weather accents, the laughter of others, and all those thoughts that come not by filling your head with selected di diversion. Maybe all the sounds which we get without selecting, that all we miss. But by allowing your mind to wander aimlessly through the regular background noise of human and mechanical life. So we miss all those things in our life. And external stimulation can crowd out the interior mind. External stimulation, when we get some external stimulation, I mean stimulation, some kind of interest or injecting from outside crowd, that can crowd out the interior mind. Sometimes that will fill our mind. Even the boredom that we flee has its uses. Sometimes there will be uh, some boredoms or some kind of uh, bad experience. Same time, we, we enjoy that or we have uh, some benefit from that also. We are forced to find our own measure, means to overcome it. When there are such problems, we are forced to overcome some problems. Then we will be adapted to different situations. So we, will, we can develop ourselves many uh, or measures to overcome our own problems. Nowadays, we are the masters of our own interest. If there is any problem, we are not sharing to anyone. We didn't get any disturbance from any other. That's why we don't have to overcome that also. That's uh, uh, nowadays we can see. Not so long ago. I was on a trip and realized that I had left my iPod behind. So I left my iPod behind. Panic, I became panic. But then something else, I noticed that the rhythms of others again, the sound of the airplane, the opinions of the taxi driver, the small social cues that had been obscured before. I noticed that how others related to each other and I felt just a little bit connected again and a little more aware. So uh, Andrew Sullivan says when he left his iPod one day, he could see the people, he could listen to the music, he could listen to the music of the people, not music of the birds, many things he could listen and he became aware of that. Maybe she, uh, he also tries try there is a world there out if you can experience this please experience that that was it what were the nice or aspect of the life that the author noticed when he forgot to take his iPod on trip? How did the author enjoy the new experience? Did you notice anything special about the ending of the essay? Just try that. And you have some vocabularies. Automatization, block, a man. Okay. I told there another man sitting behind you. That's a block word. In another block, a man was sitting there. Hilarious, extremely amusing shot. A piece of broken ceramic metal glass or rock typically having sharp edges. Obscure. And then that was obscure, not discovered or not. There was some obscure experience that was obscure once. Now he could identify that. There are such things he could identify when he missed his iPod. I hope looking at the meaning you can go back to the essay again and read it carefully. So thanks for listening. And if you have any doubt, you can ask me. Let's have a detailed discussion at the live session. Thank you.